Hey, hey, what's happening, everybody? Oh, you should have grabbed the laptop, too, so we could verify everything. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll get that in a second. Let me sit down and uh, check this out. Oh, crap, I just got hit. Hey, everybody. Hey, high we, definition. We think we, we think we might have everything up and going this time. <laughs> <laughs> Nail and high day. This is crazy. Sugar muck. Um, if now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see exactly from over there if we have people who are joining. Well, I don't know. Either. Although now I'm. <laughs> um, um. All right, I'm gonna go grab the laptop so then like at least I can be watching. That way we can verify if stuff's coming through and it's not. That's that's true. Um, you guys can watch me drink a beer. If <laughs> it's almost time to drink a beer. I don't usually bother Maybe. with my glasses um, during the show, but we are trying our new setup today. We are on our new computer and our all new configuration, and so now the screen <laughs> is 50 feet over that way. So. We don't know what's happening, I, folks. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to Where go. Am I? Yes, but then we'll have to be right here. Right there. Right yes. there. There. Yes. Where's the camera? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get that. And be right. Once Miss A leaves, I'll tell you what that was don't a reference. Don't. Don't. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. I'll be nice because uh, otherwise. Let's start just... with the letter P. Poon <laughs> Okay. Let me go get that. I'll be right back. Guys, just stepped in that very cold pot. What are you talking about? It's not amongst yourselves. I spilled so, water on the floor. Oh, no. Miss A spilled water earlier. So, anyways, peeps, we're just playing some uh, The Legend of Zelda. You can't see. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, that's not very nice of me. I know. I know. But until we get Miss A over here to help liven everything else up, you're stuck with what I can do here. So we're on, you know, the first uh, dungeon. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. What? Who remembers the Legend of Zelda, peeps? It's Zelda Knight. It's not just Zelda Knight, though, but it's mostly Zelda Knight. Because I remember playing this way back in the day. Remember when getting to the point... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. The Scalos got me. Let's see if this one little guy here has. No, no hearts, really. Come on, come on, give me some hearts. I need some heartage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? What's happening? Is that an Ewok? Oh, you just killed it. Yes, I killed it so I could get the boomerang. Oh, boomerang. Ooh, boomerang. Pardon me. Whoops. I don't know how to open this thing up. But at least when I go onto this screen, you don't hear the. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, we are celebrating the Legend of Zelda. Has a birthday this week. Today, yes. And so um, we're on the, the classic original NES cartridge. Oh, got a clock. You didn't want a clock on that spot, people. Let us know um, if you do pop in on the show here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let us know if you can see us, hear us, if it's pixelated, breaking up, or if it's saying live feed interrupted or anything like that. Yeah, because that would be some handy things to know. That would be super helpful. <laughs> you know? Again, this is still a process. We're still trying to fix things. So also, I'm uh -oh. thinking that it might be looking um, a different hue. All the lighting is the same, but... Which I think is a setting on the camera, and I know that I can change uh, color and saturation, but I don't know. But I can't like get into it through Facebook, so that's what? that's my thing. 
All right, we're going to have to go back in here. I just in Facebook, but you I didn't, can putz with it otherwise. I meant to go get the other little treasure piece in here, but I got to the end boss instead of this uh, first level because of oops. Okay. So I'm going to go. If it looks like we're looking at the ceiling, we are. <laughs> I, we got two TVs in here now because uh, the ever vivacious one uh, discovered. Oh, Lord, help me. A good deal. Lord, Lord. So we now have. Uh, All right, I don't know what's going on here now. What? Are you okay? Um, yeah, since I was futzing with the wiring upstairs, oh. now I think this one can't see. Oh. But it shouldn't, this should see the Wi Fi. It shouldn't, should that it? shouldn't matter, should it? Should it? I don't know. We might not even be filming. Who knows? Who knows what's up? Okay, no, it's connected. Hmm. All right, let's just go home then. Here, what's happening? All right, all right. Yeah, this is looking. Looking choppy? Yeah, this is looking green and pixelated here. I thought it might. How sad is that? We gotta get the right cord then. That means we are 100% sure that the cord is messing with us. Okay, wait a minute. That might have been. That might have been the. That might have been the laptop. Hang on. How sad is that? We gotta get the right cord. All right, let me turn you down a little bit. What? And turn me down. How could you turn me down? All right, live watching. Okay, there. Yes. It says that I'm watching. Okay. <laughs> we like to troubleshoot live here with you. <laughs> so, yes, Legend of Zelda. Let me look at the pics here. Where is it? <gasps> August 27th. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow. 1987. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. It came out. Like almost a year earlier in Japan, I think. Probably. Probably. There we go. More than retro gaming on this list. <laughs> oh yes, I got more than retro on there. I'm scrolling down. I'm like, wait, what? It's retro. There we go. Now I got the bow. Oh well, yeah. Had to go back in so I get the bow piece. What I love about um, taking the time to have this little birthday here for Zelda and Link is that in watching the original versus breath of the wild versus breath of the wild this game has somehow captivated and still is awesome <gasps> so so far we for what over we got. 30 years to evolve from i mean that would have been a whole that would have been a whole um what were the 120 things you were looking for shrines, shrines. That would have been a shrine that you would have had to have eight. moved. There's only like eight. Then going by that right. logic, there's only eight shrines in the first one, but they were called dungeons back then. Yes. Crazy. Oh, oh, gotta get that last one. And it's been able to just keep people oh, yeah. enthralled. You still let people play it. They, it's uh, almost like its own. Um, universe we were showing you were showing me yes about uh, speaking of switch and breath of the wild you were showing me some stuff about doom mm. coming out mm. Mm. that I know that's not retro but well it's it's based but, off of a retro ish yes I mean and from the 90s I mean when you know I mean you know when Doom came out. Mm -hmm. Didn't Doom just have a birthday of sorts? We were just talking about it recently. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it was on yeah, PC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shareware version. Uh, the DOS shareware. Yes, like, it was uh, on PC. Well, that's still going to be on PC. Before it came before it came to a console, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, then, you know, the it's sad. Like, the best version was on the SNES. SNES. The Super Nintendo. But to look yesterday uh, or over the weekend, to look at Doom Indeed. Eternal, oh yeah, coming to the Switch versus what you exposed me to, which was Doom on PC. 
was oh yeah insane it was so intense and it wasn't even like it looked like a cartoon anymore no it's pretty I mean, you crazy look at, you look at link even you look at breath of the wild it's very detailed but you can still definitely tell that link is a cartoon character he's drawn you know he doesn't oh yeah his flesh and stuff doesn't look real and his hair is still cartoonishly drawn like the stuff in this doom eternal looked like pulsating flesh and yeah. actual it blood and the walls looked alive but textured to the point where they did not look cartoonish or drawn in any way it was weird and so i just loved seeing games like that because there, there are just some games that are so good that people will not let go and now those guys who um have worked to create that are talking about how they don't just want oh, this yeah. to be a game they want it to be a whole universe yeah i mean it was pretty wild so, listening to them so that was awesome not retro related but um but blink is and so happy 31st birthday oh man is tomorrow? it uh, let's see what else we got some other oldies but goodies um, this is not this is looking really good too by the way good. okay so I I think that honestly might have been just a weird uh, uh, me <laughs> <laughs> going I want to move like a robot so, flop. Um, Uh, we had a pretty good week retro-wise. Uh, like I said, I picked up TV um, just because good I, score. <laughs> I need another TV like I need to hold that. But uh, but it was rather it'll be at Comic Con. It was so rather nice. Stuff. Yes. Oh, oops! I went the wrong way. I'm in Dungeon Three, not Dungeon Two. Point being, I went to the wrong dungeon. Anyway, can anyway. you not? And you can't. Oh get no, out. no 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 no! I can get out. You know, anyway, anyway, anyways, peace. The other thing we discovered, though, this new TV, it's remote. It also works on the old TV that we have down here that we have now hooked up. And, you know, that might be actually what the problem is, too, though. It, it could just be looking goofy to us here because we got the saturation on the TV. There. Oh, the TV. Okay. Because we're yeah. using a TV yeah, as a here, computer monitor. Normal, so. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. You know what? All right. We're going to put that remote. Oh, okay. wait. I need this one. We're gonna turn the volume. We were down a we bit. were enjoying. Oh yeah, now be careful. Now watch. It's gonna <laughs> cover up the sensor on. The monitor. <laughs> oh. So I gotta far, reach so... way high so it oh, doesn't there you get go. the other yeah, sensor. Just go. That that works. Uh, anyways. Just gonna be looking everywhere in the studio. Tonight. And oh, I'm gonna have you tag the mad mad Vikings, and I forgot. Want to why? Can't I? I don't know if you can. Why we're live? Can you? Oh! <gasps> oh! Careful! Find me a spill beer. Because we want to give a special, special shout out to a former winner of our drawings this past weekend. Okay, wait a minute. For Swags, aka John D'Onofrio, because of his special nuptials. Yes. Here he is. Oh, he already updated his uh, profile picture, too, I see, when you uh, did that. This episode is brought to you by Stroh's. Not really, but we really wish it was because I would like Stroh's money. <laughs> Stroh's, I love you. <laughs> Do you need a moment? <laughs> Take me home tonight. <laughs> You're off camera, but that's cute. I didn't want no one to see I, uh, no. Oh, what was no, going on. No, no, no one's Stroh's, this is just for us. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
All right, I don't know if that's going to. Um, She's right here. I can't do that to you. I mean, hey, how's it going, girl? I don't know if that's going to prompt him, but. Well, but it's always to. cool to tag him. Yes. We um, just that you know, if he pops in, we'll just be like you know, hey, congratulations. Yes. We'll watch if we see another little green. If you see another little green button over there, that by the way, he's here. By the way, by the way, by the way, um, I'll have to show it to you. Um, there was a little video oh. of the nuptials. Oh, oh, yay, yay. Where he was being married by a Viking. <gasps> the Padre was in kilt and everything. Oh, yes. I love that. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I will have to pull that up. I can't so, wait to see that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh. And and just that clock is that right? Uh yes. Okay. Yes, nine fifty three. So I got started late because I was trying to do this new setup. It's, it's all good. It's all good, girl. So yes, congratulations so, to John and and Mister and Mrs. Genofrio. <laughs> well played, more. sir. Yes. Well played. I don't know how to say that in Norse, but if I knew how, I would say it. What is golf zero? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making that up. <laughs> I'm making that up. If I if that offended anyone, if I said something, I should, you know. Oops. Now you've got to make a crying apology video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't <laughs> know that that was a derogatory term that you were a goat lover. <laughs> you, little did you know, you were actually speaking Norse. Wow, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? That would be insane. And it's like, totally All insane. of a sudden, Norse people like jumping yeah. in. Also, by the way. Back. Yes. Let me see if I can do this. Reach up. Rachel. Nope. <laughs> that's okay. I I'm just, watching it here. <laughs> I know, but that still annoys me. Oh, oh my god. My, my fingers. All right, and then we'll. They're both changing. Oh. We have so many things going on here. I need like a shield or something to put on top of the oh, little monitor. It actually should probably be more. Okay, there we, there, there we go, there we go, there we go. It should probably be more right here anyway. Okay. Well, we're going to be working on that once we get other stuff switched oh, yes, around. Because, yes. like, literally, we got the one TV is on top of one, two, three, four uh, totes filled with games. For gaming. For gaming community lovers out there. 24 days to unboxing all of those totes. Comic-Con Eerie. September 14th, 15th and 16th. Yeah, something like that. Yes. So it will be down at um, the Ambassador Conference. Not the Ambassador. Bayfront Convention the Center. The Bayfront Convention Center. Thank like, you. What you talking about, girl? It, we're going to be somewhere in Erie. I don't know where we're going to be. I just show up. <laughs> Should we go? Tell me where to go. Nah, multiplayer is where this game shines. Switching over to the N64, we have another birthday. Uh, of which I don't have any details, but... Bungie jump from platform? What? what? Oh. Okay. It's been so long since I've sat there and I done I didn't this. know what the heck you were... There you go. I, I haven't played GoldenEye in a long time because it's not my personal cup of tea. Oh, I should have grabbed some uh, oh, Mario 64. Oh, I thought you were going to say... I can play that still somehow. I don't know. True. We have enough Mario memorabilia around here. Um, where is the... What was, what was this birthday here for... For GoldenEye? Hello? That's right. I just had the list. What happened here? You and Strohs were having a moment. We're, no, I, I sat there. I was being shot at. I had to kill that Russian. Hey, there you go. All you resistance types that out was there, very grab some golden eye, and you can pretend you're defending, you know, democracy. Incredibly offensive, by the way. Okay. To who? Russians or the resistance? In general. Um... <laughs> Okay. Oh, so light somebody up. We're celebrating Goldeneye 007 on the N64, which was released this week, this Thursday, back in 1997. And it is still one of the most popular, most requested. I do remember that people came to Comic Con Erie 
and they were asking. Dude, you got Golden Eye? Yes. Yeah, in my personal collection. What? They were asking about it, so. Uh, all right. You know what? BC can't. Are you, you're just going to look at your watch, sir? Here no, you. no. The thing that I can't is just the sheer fact that I'm like, okay, let's see. Can I get up high enough? He can do it. Yeah. Let's get back to some Zelda because, quite <laughs> frankly, I don't understand all you people loving on uh, GoldenEye. Zelda's where it's at, peeps. It was released at, in Japan and in the U.S., both during this week, yes. th just within a couple days of each other. Yes, that's why I marked it down that way. So because it's I was finally, like, oh, that's Golden Eye is finally 21. It can drink. It's finally old enough to drink in a boat. It's finally old enough to be a real agent. <laughs> is there an um, age limit? Wasn't Julia Child a secret agent? I don't know. Okay. She was a spy, yes. World War II. That's back when they sat there. And she did not get into cooking until she was done being a spy. I'll have Too you know. bad she wasn't a spy and a cook. Oh, let me fix this up for you and watch right? you die. <laughs> right? I'm sorry, did you die after I prepared that meal for you? <laughs> mm, <laughs> horrible. Mm. <laughs> what? God. That's what happened. Don't believe me? <laughs> That's Julia Childs. Oh, you hey, can. Who are we? Who to say that we know for sure that she really did stop being a spy after she became a cook. You know she didn't. And who's she to was say all that she didn't spy about the spy life on everyone for the rest of her life, even well, after she got into cooking. Technically, um, from the different stuff I've read, once you're a spy, you're never really not a spy. I totally believe that. Sorry, <sighs> it's concentrator. I'm gonna spill that. Um, <laughs> oh. Other birthdays this week. Um, Absolute Entertainment Inc. Ooh, yeah, we gotta get on to that. Okay, BC's gotta stop playing Zelda. Zelda in rap, and as you can see, it enraptures me. Yes, yes. Okay. Even though he's on Breath of the Wild, you didn't have to turn that off, but that's why I did. <laughs> if I didn't do it, <laughs> I would go back. Control. To Okay, okay, we're okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> August 19th. Oh, I just snorted. Okay. August 19th. Yes, August 19th. 1986. Okay. Absolute Entertainment Incorporated was founded by okay. David Crane, Dan Kitchen, and Gary Kitchen. Now, those are the you, 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 those guys made some really sweet games back in the day. You know, y'all played, you know, the Gary Kitchen's Battle Tank and stuff like that. All right. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, now, here's the funny thing. They named their company Absolute Entertainment Incorporated just so they would be listed before Activision in oh! the game trade listings. Why? Wow. All three of these guys used to work for Activision. So they purposely picked their name to do that. Fun factoid, Activision's name is Activision because they did the same thing, so they would be listed before Atari. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Fun factoid. Oh, my gosh. There you go. But, well, they did good for themselves by doing yeah. that. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Well, until, that they, back in until they went like this here. <laughs> and just it was fun while it lasted. Okay. okay. Let's continue. Yes. I could have put, like, Tony Hawk a couple things in here for that, but <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing it. So. <laughs> I'm trying to mute. I almost gave an angry emoji to <laughs> my own <laughs> <laughs> August 20th, 2002. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for the N64. Wow. Hard to believe that's Back 16 in the day. years yeah, ago. Yeah, jeez. That means that there were two more before that. Oh, yeah. Even earlier. Uh, Did you Tony hear that? Hawk. Yes, I moved my toe. Oh, I, have I, don't have a, I don't have shoes on right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Messing with me. Thought it was the ghost again. <laughs> but it wasn't. Okay, and then, like I said, you know, August 22nd, you know, you were talking about that Legend of Zelda for the Correct. U.S. Correct, yes, but I missed that one right there. Oh, no, no, the one before that. Oh, oh, I'm saving that because we got to talk a little bit about that one. Oh, okay, like, is okay. That the one? Yeah, we got to talk about that one. All right. We're going to save that one because that's one. Right, Retro well, bit, if you're listening, you, you you know, we're waiting for our copy. It's supposed to ship out August 31st. Oh, <gasps> yay! Of Almost Holy here. Time. Oh, so many things I might not. Oh, my God, it's month. crazy. <laughs> um... 
Yeah, there we go. August okay. 23rd, 2010. Now, this is for those of you who are into the rail shooters like BC is. Definitely. On the Wii. Martian Wait, Panic. A lot of people will pan that game for one reason. Oh, those graphics look kind of crappy. The whole premise of the game is it's the 50s. And we're being invaded by aliens. True. And you, you want can, it to you, look can, you can play as a cheerleader, um, you know, the you jock, need... you know, the <laughs> hillbilly farmer guy that was in his pickup truck. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, stuff like that. You know, it's like, um, okay. do you really need the graphics to be like, oh, to shoot little green men? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's be inclusive. Persons. Little green non-persons? They're aliens. <sighs> Uh, uh, anyways, anyways, so check it out if you got a Wii and you got the Nyko light gun attachments. Ooh, sweetness. I know, I know, it's not technically really a light gun. Okay, you know what we're saying. Okay, people, <laughs> deal with it, okay? <laughs> this is a little bit of fun, too. August 23rd, 2005, Asteroids, Pong, and Yara's Revenge, Triple Pack, oh! the Game Boy Advance. Ooh. There was a, several other Game Boy Advance Triple Packs. You know, that we're like Yara's Atari Revenge. classics. Yes. We were just playing that. Was that last week? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. And then GoldenEye, you know, also, uh, you know, August 23rd, but 1997. Correct. Yes. In Japan. Right. right. And also in the U.S. and all that stuff, you know. And, 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 and. This is the one that Miss A was scanned down like, what the? I know what she's talking about. August 24th, 1953. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Tato Corporation, one of BC's personal favorite arcade companies. Indeed. Tato. You know, think Space Invaders and stuff like that. Tato? Tato? Potato? Tato? Green T Hornet? is silent. Tail? Tail? Yeah. Tail Cruise? Um, anyways, 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 anyways. Founded by Michael Kogan. And he was an importer, distributor for vending machines, you know, stuff like that. He's a Russian, by the way, who moved to Japan. That's 60-some. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. He was a Russian that moved to Japan. Probably good that he Open named Potato instead of something Russian. How do you know that's not Russian? Uh, I don't. <laughs> there you go. I don't know either. I'm just saying. But now why was this so cool? What is – everyone knows Tato for their video games and that. How many people know this little tidbit? They were the first Japanese company to be making what? Vodka. Uh, wait, what? Arcade machines. Vodka. Uh, arcade machines. Okay. They opened up a distillery because and they distilled he's Russian, vodka. That's presumptuous. Uh, so that oh wait, so he didn't he didn't start out wanting to. No, then later on they changed into you know he was more like into the vending machines oh and stuff like that. Oh my gosh! And vending machines are huge in Japan still. But, you know, anyways, anyways, let's go back to the other one that I skipped over because I'm like, oh, oh, if you got to if, if, if you're going to find a game to like redo because we re released the same time as like Zelda and all that, which is probably why, you know, oh, whatever on it, you know, and all that stuff. Valius, the Phantasm Soldier, Japanese only exclusive. You, you, you're a young girl who has been chosen to fight to save the real world and the dream world. Oh, it's kind of cool looking. You got to look it up, and I think it looks pretty cool. And BC and Miss A have been discussing picking up some uh, imports so we can sit there. You know, indeed, indeed. Check out the ones that, you know, never came over here were only Japanese exclusives. You know, now, granted, yeah, you could always do the, oh, look, I found the ROM online, and I can play it on the computer. Cheating. But wouldn't it Cheating. be more fun to have the adapter pop it into the top loader here and we can just say, woo! Oh, we have to bust out the CRT TV, though, Sir, so we can play uh, well, authentic, you know, it authentic. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't work here. But that was the last that I had on that. That is crazy. I only got distracted because I tried to look up Taito. Taito. And it didn't tell me what it meant, but it takes 84 strokes to write the word Taito in Japanese. It's the most graphically difficult character, and it, I don't know. In Kaji writing, right? Wait, is that, did I pronounce that right? I don't even know. Kan, kanji? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Kanji, Kaji. 
this rare and complex character uh, the, the combines meaning cloudy to appearance of a dragon in flight. Oh, perfect then for the Tato Company. We are a dragon in flight. Buy from us. Makes perfect sense to me. Nice graphic image symmetry in my brain going on with that. So anyways, you know, that's cool, though. Hopefully. That's, that's pretty amazing. cool. Um, okay. Also a <laughs> note. Nice little side. Uh, okay, yes, I'm back. On. I'm back from Japan. <laughs> I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I still haven't played that song for Hello. you. Hello. No, you haven't. Yeah. No. So anyways, oh, what was BC doing earlier today? Yeah, what uh, were, what? What's this, a bottle of vodka? What? Oh, no, we got a box full of comics. Ew. Oh, let's see what we got in here. I'll just grab a handful here. And we'll see what we got here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, just picked up a little bundle deal off of a couple people. I have to, like, double check that one out. But what we got here, people, now, we got these some. Now, familiar. Yes, I had a, I sold a complete set of these, uh, all part one through part six. These are both sealed. We got, you know, Rise of the Midnight Suns, you know. Part one. Mm -hmm. And then we got mm, issue Ghost one Rider. of Ghost Rider and Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance, which was part two in that series. Oh, wait, what? Hey, what? How? What? What? Issue Why? number one. Issue 28. But this was the first part of the series. So then they started a whole nother... Yeah, there's like 25, 30 issues of this one. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully. Pretty interesting. <sighs> I don't know how some of y'all keep track of what you're reading. <laughs> yeah. And then I got to sit there and double check some of this here because, you know, some of these I believe are like uh, reprints of the original. So I don't want no one out there going, oh my God. Oh, oh yeah. Batman yeah, yeah. and the man bat. It does this is not issue 400 from the original series yeah, run. No, no, no. Yeah. But Batman because that'd be time. like that'd be like four hundred plus yeah, dollars. Right. Yeah, no, right. No. Because it'd be the first technical appearance of the man bat. Even though technically it's not really the first appearance I of the man. I was going bat. to say, but yes. Yeah. It's John D'Onofrio! Yay! Hey, John, we just wanted to say congratulations. Yay! Congratulations to you and the misses. And Ooh. I have to check out this video. I heard there's a video. I can't wait. I was checking uh, the video out, the, you know, oh, of the Viking regalia. You know, so the, it's, it's cute. John forgot what he was supposed to say for a second, but that's cool. I do. No, not that part. You oh, know, <laughs> repeat after me, and then the podcast. Oh Lord! Oh, I don't blame him for the, that. Uh, My goodness, what? they ask you to, you know. Uh, and then you will give me twenty five dollars <laughs> after this. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, what else do we got here? You know, we're not to interrupt you, John, but, you know, I'm in the middle of, uh, you yes, know. Yes, keep talking. Howard the Duck. Are you on, wait, so is he joining us on uh, Honeymoon? Oh, my God, are you on Honeymoon? Are you on Honeymoon? <laughs> well, I know you I know you sat there and laughed at my uh, other post from What's my dedication? personal page I put up the other dad? day. Can you put a star by his name? <laughs> Honey? <laughs> This is the most romantic honeymoon. You're my new wife. I've hey, got to watch BC hey, right now. Now, now the question though is the question though is is the missus sitting there cuddled up next to him, you know, watching his Oh, I hope that would be nice. Having having some that cookies nice. and milk in bed, that just watching nice. and enjoying. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't. What? Don't. Well, you don't want no cookies? We got some cookies. We just picked up some lemon cookies. Need some lemon cookies. Now that's all I can think about. You know, we got some other interesting things here, though. Yes, back to retro Astonishing gaming. Astonishing <laughs> Tales from the Marvel Comics Group, featuring Kazar. I've never heard of Kazar. I know you haven't. That's why I had to show that. <laughs> oh, don't be mean. What do you mean I'm mean? <laughs> you know, Armageddon 2001, The New Titans, issue number seven annual. The, does that say the Teen Titans? Ooh. No, the New Titans, not the New Teen Titans. I well, introducing the all new, all great Teen Titans. Yes, it says that, but that's not. Ne never mind. I, I'll I'll explain it to you later. Okay. So there are Titans and separate Teen Titans. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Are if they related? So be. the Titans are the parents of the. I'm just no. asking. Oh. You just have to read to learn. Fine. Oh, well, it's in plastic. You're not gonna let me touch it. Right there. Is it in back? You gotta pay attention. 
I did. That was right when he logged on. I know. What okay. I'm slow. What do we got here? Batman and oh, Judge Dredd. Ooh. Wow. I like that cover. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, Ooh. I like that. That's striking. Oh, yeah. Now, here we go. Now we're talking. Not too bad. This is issue 436, though. Uh, that would have been 19... Seventy-four. Um, wow. I feel really bad that I just figured that out. Wow. Yes, there was a little smoke coming out, but it's all good. <laughs> now this the original not... detective comics version. That didn't grab the... me as much. But... Well, no, 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 no. You don't understand, though. I don't. That's These right. it, are like how they used to do like Batman. It wasn't just Batman. It was mostly just Batman went into their detective comics. But there was also times where it was not Batman, it was something oh. else. But it was 90% of the time oh, okay. Batman. I get it. You know, so that one there, I got the, ooh. Hey, I didn't realize this one was here, though. Hey, the 100th issue of Wolverine. Hey, you got to set this one aside for the noof. He's all about the Wolverine. Shall I tag him? He, uh, I don't know. Oh, he's probably working. And then we got the Brave and the Bold, Batman and Plastic Man. Doom, what is thy shape? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I like Dr. that. Doom. That's nice. Pretty All cool right. stuff here. I got some reading ketchup on then. Uh, you ain't going to open these ones up. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I was trying to talk crazy top there, woman. Well, here, what else me, we got here? Yeah. Okay, you hold those ones or move them along. Why are you opening Kyle. that? Stop it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nothing like the snow. Ooh, box. more of the brave and the bold, you know. The brave and the bold. Batman and Wonder, Wonder Woman, guest starring Batgirl in the coils of <laughs> Copperhead. Was he on, um... Who? It was Copperhead in uh, He-Man. No, you're thinking the Rattler. Rattler, there you go. Whose head popped out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, we got some more Batman here from the Brave and the Bold. You know, it's like uh, okay. from back in the day. This one's a little beat up, but uh, it's like Batman and Wildcat. Whoa. Count ten and die. Jeez. Whoa. Who? Wildcat, what? you're nothing but a has-been bum. Stop hiding behind those kids and come out and fight. People don't remember Batman used to have like a temper... You know, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you know. No, no, no. Batman's it. a piece of crap. I'm feeling it. Batman and the Black Canary, another good one here. Is he, uh, he was one that he never wanted to really, like, kill people to actually eliminate mm -hmm. the problem. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Batman and I the think Flash. Was crime boss. There you go. I said it. Bat yeah, I said what? it. No, that was the Punisher. Oh. The Punisher became a crime boss. True. Pretty good run, too, Love I think. Love you, Frank. Word. Uh, let's see. Batman and Dead Man. Let go, you double-crossing ghost, or I'll be a dead man, too. What? Batman in... Pleading for his life, apparently. And what? You're, but you're ly lying here dead. No, oh, mine. What? My... What? Well, I don't know who that might be. What? I don't know what's going on I there. have no idea. <laughs> oh, another Kazar. Kazar! Lord of the Hidden what Jungle! Was one? What was uh -huh. one numbered? I don't know, but this is 15 here and 14, another Kazar, issue 14. Uh, let's see, 20? Hmm, all interesting. Right. Throw it back in here with this Put one. Put it all together. What else we got here? The Amazing Adventures featuring War of the Worlds starring Kill Raven. Bum, 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 bum. Uh-huh. Death stocks the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> hey, check it out. More nice. Kazar. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Gemini. You've me. had it, Jungle Lord. I, I got the power of two men and more. The day you cross Gemini is the day you finally die. Uh. Hey, more Kazar. Hey, check that out. His little cat buddy is also fighting a crocodile while he's fighting a crocodile. They look like they're underwater. That's Suffocated. because they're fighting crocodiles. Crocodiles are on land? I don't know. Not like that. Some lady just got killed by one. Well, that's what you get for being stupid. What? It's true. Hope the family's not watching, but your lady friend was kind of stupid. Let let the dog go. Miss Mystic, issue number one and two. Mystic. Origin issue. Ooh. No power on Never Earth can save Ms. you. Mystic. 
to do some checking up on her. Oh, okay, you do that. Oh, here we go, Batman and the Demon. Oh, 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 this one here ought to be pretty interesting. Batman and Swamp Thing. Back off, Batman. That monster wrecked our city, and we're going to kill him. Swamp Thing. Boom. Uh, this is funny. With all the stuff that's gone on recently. Uh, <laughs> Batman <laughs> and the Creeper. Kind of funny. I appreciate that we finally have a camera that will zoom in on what we're holding up. The last will and testament of Batman. I only have an hour to live. <gasps> oh, that's morbid. It's See, up to Robin to find my killer this, so I can avenge my death from the grave. This would never be made today. Oh, sure it would. They would not be letting little kids. I mean, there's no Look age. what they have in the stuff now. This is tame and mild compared to a lot of the stuff they put out now. Oh, my goodness. A little morbid for a little kid to be raised. Might be morbid. Oh, my goodness. Hey, check out what else in, is in this box. I got the... Hey, look what at that. I got that was, Adele's Carpenter and Builder's Guide number four. Why do I got... supposed to be in there? I don't know, but it's two of the same book. Anyone need to know how to uh, bend wood to in, into the proper <gasps> shape? Oh, my gosh. Here, let me see. Pretty nifty. Those are some good books right out there. I'll tell you what. If you in the carpentry... Hey, what do we got here? Oh, here's oh. the clip, too. Check it out. 1979 October. What do we got here? Peter Parker is the spectacular Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Phoenix, the untold story featuring the original uncensored, never-before-published conclusion to the saga of Phoenix. Interesting. More of the War of the Worlds. More of the War of the Worlds starring Kill Raven. Oh boy, I got a lot of those in here. Mm, interesting. Hey, another Miss Mystic. Back whenever they bought this uh, July 29th, they paid eight, eight bucks. Mm -hmm. Eight bucks on French Street for that. Man, that's way back in the day, too. That that's kind of pricey back then. That is then. a lot. I hope you got your worth out of that because ain't no way I'd be paying it. What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, check this one out. Marvel team up featuring Spider-Man and the Black Panther. Dun, dun. Pretty cool. Indeed, let me put this uh, Let's see. What is this one from? Uh, hmm. From 1971 here, it looks like. Wait, no. Volume 1, number 1, March 72 issue. Hmm. Unfortunately, sadly, no cover. I don't know. The story is still in there, though. Oh, yeah. You know, but anyways, I mean, man, I still got more down there to go through. Creatures on the loose. I'm just getting from these ones here. I'm just going to point out some things that are kind of interesting to me. Uh, giant size man thing. All new three faces of fear. Oh, I thought you were reading from a new uh, guide that came out. Q R S T L N. Oh wow! Check this one out, people. Wow! <gasps> the Amazing oh, Adventures hey. of the Original X Men. No, look at the top. I know. That's what I was getting to. Let me finish. <laughs> when a Toys R Us shopping spree. Oh my gosh! I want to win one. Well, you gotta go to Canada. They still got Toys R Us up there. Ta-da! Can't go. Don't have a passport. That's all right. We don't want to go there anyways. What you got up there, Canada? Maple syrup? Hockey? Is that where they made those pickles? Probably. Oh. Man, more of the War of the Worlds. That's kind of all right, I guess. All right. Well, I will let you go through that, and I am going to just give a little quick recap of what I enjoyed about SummerSlam. Okay. Since I did mention that, um, which was this past um, this right. past weekend at the Barclays Center, I got it in uh, cool, New York girl. City, and uh, unfortunately, even though we had both talked about Brock winning and retaining, uh, and possibly that becoming awesome. a two sport champion and all that, he did lose. So. Um, 
due to a weak ass spear was... from the lackluster Roman Reigns, uh, I might add. Sadly lacking. You suck. Sorry. But All y'all who said, like him, tell me why. Why person. do you like him? Why do you like him? I did I did appreciate the um person in the crowd holding up a sign where they had drawn a picture of him and they, they had a movable part so that the sign was going like this like he was cocking his arm before he punches that was that was more entertaining than the man himself anyway <laughs> but uh yeah brock did lose um, ridiculous is all ron say, was there you know what? give me some cheesy curls where... i feel like a cheesy curl all of a sudden yes they're fantastic they smell pretty good there um that's gluten free too people Braun was there and was waiting to cash in, which he should have just cashed in right at the beginning and flattened the bowl. So that would have been, been better. But uh, he was going to wait until the end oh. of the match to see a clear winner to find Just so you them. know, whoever and wins, I'm challenging. In the, he also apparently quoted ACDC or something in his little tirade, which is why Brock was smirking, according to some people. Don't know, don't listen to ACDC enough to recognize the quote. Sorry. But um, in the melee, uh, Brock threw the briefcase from ringside. And I know Barclay Center is not big, so it's not like he's throwing it like a WrestleMania mile all the way back to the on-ramp there. But he threw it from ringside to the on-ramp where the screen is mm. <laughs> to leave it there. Which meant once Braun was incapacitated, he couldn't go get his briefcase to cash it in. Lame. So, what won't. All right, take him away. Um, thank you. Thank you. They are fantastic. Uh, kickoff was in the pregame. They had Ziggy and Rollins, which I enjoy both of them, and they really should have been a lot higher in the card than opening. But I get it. You want people to sit down. And watch. Um, so thankfully, it was early enough that I I was able to <laughs> watch and I didn't miss it. it. Was really good, really good, very tight. They did a great. And um, Ziggler dropped to Rollins. So what do you think was going to happen? Yeah. They're trying to push Rollins. Again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's they quite obvious that's what the shield. Been doing. Well, the mini shield. And uh, Ambrose is back, and so now they go and they do their little fist bump in the ring all the time. I would love it if they have something come up and they just make Diego super bad ass heel. Insane. Yes, yes, and they should. He has the and mentality, and he can act it off. Before Absolutely. his big in injury, remember, you know, when they had the, you know, the old oh, the triple match, and it was Brock, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns? Yes. <sighs> First off, Roman Reigns, you sucked in that match horribly. Uh, <laughs> that's why I thought of your performance. Was for that. <laughs> it was oh, a weak-ass beer belch <laughs> of a performance. Yes. But, but you know, if you remember in that, you know, it was like, hey, at least DA went after Brock. That match, Roman's like, oh, what, what, oh let me size this up. And here's he DA. He does that all the time. Boom, boom, boom. And, okay, now, yeah, then Brock picked him up and just threw him out of the ring like he was a rag doll. Um, but my He's favorite part of that guy. whole match was, that's what I'm saying. Dean Ambrose is about my size. Yes. I'm 6'5", yes. about 270. Yes. He's not small. He's not. It's not. It's not like he's put, five foot tall. You know. It's like. But, so it's like okay. It's yeah. just crazy. So you you're had. Tall, you're so, taller than Brock. So you had. You make anybody Roman Reigns is holding Dean Ambrose, and Brock just grabbed hold of him. And if you watch, Roman Reigns does not assist at all no. when Brock get, does the no. German suplex and no. throws both of them over top of himself. Yes. Yes. I don't, I don't care how fake people want to say it is. Um, it's not fake. It's scripted. It's not like we don't know that. But Yeah, exactly. I mean, but it's like... And it's, I'm not saying that he's a spring chicken. I mean, he's as old as us. Oh, yeah. But I, I hope that... Uh, oh, I hope we got some Power Man and Iron whoever, Fist fans. Because we've got a bunch here. I'm that Cormier is ready because he I don't he know, we'll is see. a seriously tough guy, okay? He can be. You can yeah. make fun of him if you want for being in a scripted profession. Uh, making a lot of money, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, Rollins got the title. 
Uh, they put Nakamura against Jeff Hardy. Nakamura retained. Mm. Eh. Um, the 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 Ooh. mutual taunting between the two in the beginning was super good, though. Lizards, lizards everywhere. Oh, okay. All right. Um, All but right. the other big one that Not I bad, was looking forward to uh, watching was um, just hand me a bundle of time. Uh, AJ and Samoa Joe. Mm, Samoa Joe all the way on that. AJ's a nice guy and all that, but I've always liked Samoa Joe better. So even though I did not appreciate the angle of having AJ's um, children there, you can have that back if you want to set that in there. Because That's that not was an angle. That was Mick, totally unnecessary. Mick Foley used to do that back in the day too. I like know. the match where he got his teeth knocked out and the uh, big thing in the head. His kids were there. And it's like you know what kind of match you're in. Why would you bring your four year old there? I mean, that's stupid. Totally not necessary. Yes. Oh, it's the only time my kids are gonna be able to see me. Then maybe reevaluate your life choices. <laughs> if seriously, if that's the only time you do can find show? time to see. Uh, yeah. Don't be wrong. I like Mick Foley. He sat there. You I know, can't remember that awesome. match anyway. Whatever. But they've apparently worked a lot together in other promotions, doing other oh, yeah. series together. Oh, yeah. So maybe we will have a couple of rematches against those two if they're still mad at each other. Um, you mean pretend mad. It was really... It was really good. Samoa Joe was really pulling it off. Looked very good. Oh yeah, but totally being go, going the uh, Triple H Randy Orton route, talking smack during the match. Oh, I got no problem with that. Telling telling her, I, I guess Daddy's not coming home tonight, but you can call me Daddy. And you're like, oh, <laughs> what? Because time he usually just comes out, across the guy who just like walks out and is wait. like this big guy. Wait, 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 hold on, time out. You can give daddy a kiss now. <laughs> so I thought that was really good. Uh, um, I wasn't kidding. Um, All of you turn away. Don't look. <laughs> so that match was good. I believe that ended in a DQ of Samoa Joe for using a chair, I think. <clears throat> so it went it went over pretty good um i need another psycho like sid ronda That's rousey made a fool of herself and so they gave her the belt whoa. because it's whoa. so sad whoa and whoa her raccoon makeup melted whoa. off and whoa. she looked whoa. like the whoa. task master right. with all right. his helmet all right. flying all right. off all right all right all right all right all right all right i'll give everyone the braids her braids look stupid as all get what? could we quit braiding her hair but the makeup, Isn't I had no problem. I, 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 must be in the, I must be in the super minority on this makeup. I was like, I can give a rat's ass. I really don't care. I don't care either, but. Obviously you do. If you know that you are a sweater, let's say, maybe don't put the eye makeup on your forehead. Or maybe it was her eyebrows painted in or nah. something. I don't know what was going on. They were these huge sweeps. Like, she should have had horns coming out over here all the way up on her forehead. And that was what was melting off and making it look just completely ridiculous. So I don't know. If it was me, you know what would probably help her out? And people think I'm going to be crazy when I say this, but ask any of the pro wrestlers, which, do any of them do this anymore? Where's the full face paint? Demolition, Axe, Smash, The Legion of Doom, uh... Jeff the Hardy, powers of pain. Jeff Hardy was out in full face paint. You, and he has been for a while. You perform different. You do things and can do things that you yes. don't normally would or people yes. would think would happen. Who wants a case in point on this? No. <laughs> BC. <laughs> Did you see that look? Did you see that face nice change? <laughs> Back in the day, what I used to do, I would wear face paint. Yes. Did I wrestle? No, nay, no. Nay. No. Was it Halloween? Oh, nay, nay. I would just put on face paint and go out to the bars. I'm one of the few guys that can honestly say he would have up to five women at any different bar establishment or eatery, if you will. Simultaneously? 
would, yeah, can you give him a drink? <laughs> Where I would have women buy me drinks because they all wanted to know. It's like, who is that guy? What the fuck's up with this shit? You know, it's like, I am independent, you know. I went, you know, uh, more than one time, you know, uh, you know, with uh, the Kiss makeup, you know, uh, Paul Stanley, Gene. True. Never one as Ace or uh, Peter. Sorry, guys. Um, wow. Cold. Sorry. Cold. But normally I would just do either like, oh, I also did Sting a couple times. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. not, not original Sting, you know. Crow. Ooh, I'm the Crow, Crow Sting. sting. Um, or I would just do a skull face. Yes. Just do a skull face. Why? Because it was fun. Of course, I also weighed 305 pounds at the time and was only 12 to 15 percent body fat with a leather so jacket with chains hanging off of it. So, yeah, it was a little to... interesting when you'd walk in and you have chains jingling and it's like, what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> yeah, give me a drink with a straw. <clears throat> but yes, Jeff Hardy. Messed up my face paint. A straw. Give me a straw. Gaming. Um, yeah, wow. Jeff, Jeff Hardy does the full face. He even does the eyelids mm. so oh. that he'll mm. stand there and close his eye and he has eyes drawn on his closed eyelids. He's just taking a quick power nap. It's, it's creepy in a cool, weird way. But yes, you do. Yes, she should. It's just something. I don't know. I'm um, just saying. A headdress or whatever. Well, uh, no, the headdress so doesn't work. I, um, I don't know. I don't know. Quit braiding your hair. Just put it in a ponytail. You're allowed to be basic. That's fine. No, That's fine. No, better. You know what she should do? Just try to make yourself more complicated. It's not working. Well, no. What they should do, and there's part of the problem. Who remembers how <coughs> Hot Rod actually performed back in the day? The biggest mistake the WWE has made is they let her out before she had good mic skills. If you're going to have her come out like, hey, this is our female Hot Rod, which I could see what that'd be fucking awesome if they did it right. Which is not a bad idea. I'm not, yeah, I'm not against the gimmick. Yeah, you know, because just... uh, who remembers? I mean, because, like, I heard a couple people, you know, like, oh, well, that's great. She just did a couple moves, you know. It's like, how many, for years, people were making fun of John Cena because he only had five moves. I'm like, well, that's all right. Hulk Hogan had two. Yeah, yeah. The leg drop in good old thumb to the eye, McMahon. <laughs> yeah. Back rig. Yeah. Oh, okay. Three. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Can't forget that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do remember those. You know, it's like I remember the one too. It was hilarious because. Hi, Delania. Hey, 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 girl. Hello. How you doing? Happy Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. How happy? I don't know yet. <laughs> oh. Delania, you want to buy some stuff? Are you working? Make it a happy Tuesday. <laughs> Maybe she's working. Well, she might be. She's a hard working. She hey. Give me a little. She has to go jump around, go all over the place. I wouldn't want to do all that. That's It'd be right. crazy. That's anyway, right. anyway, 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 anyway. We're just updating about SummerSlam. We're off on a tangent. Don't mind us. <sighs> Super tangent. Let us know if this looks pixelated to you or if it's coming in clear. We got a new We're setup. A new setup, yes. <laughs> we got a new setup, you know. Uh... And we're like testing stuff out, and like we don't know how here. it's going. I don't know. Well, okay. if, you're, if she's there, she's there. If she's not, she's so not. So it was a it was a ridiculously long show, high and low points, overall good. Give it a four mm, out of a five. Was not bad, really? you know. And uh, and life goes on. So they got the follow really... up raw. Uh, we still didn't see Braun cash in technically. So I don't know how long we're going to have him pretend to try and cash in, but be unable suddenly because he's so big. He's a monster. I don't know because that's going to get old really quick, but whatever. Well, no, there's no the thing. I mean, it's like. The rest of it's all good. Let's get realistic here. It took what? Oh, my God. Finally, Roman Reigns finally has beat Brock Lesnar, and it only took him, what, three and a half, four years? Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. But anyway. <laughs> My personal favorite on this would just be I was hoping that Monday Night Raw would have been like, you know, it's like, all right, there ain't Brock to sit there and mess shit up for me now and cashing in. Get your ass down here, Roman, and just whoop the shit out of him. I would have been happy with that. Uh, I'm going to watch that all day. I, 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 don't, I don't, you know, here's the bad thing. I'm not really a fan of Strowman. I don't really, it's like, oh, okay, we got a big guy. Okay. You in his biggest show? No, that no, that's true. That's true. You no, know, it's like 
not literally the biggest, but no, that's what I'm saying. He's you know, always like, after Roman Reigns. That's <laughs> no, no, that's what I mean. It's like anyone that's going that's after Roman like Reigns, most. I'm okay. That's what I like most. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, well also say. mention really quick that other. Oh yeah. Uh, before we forget. Oh before yeah. We go, gotta go. Yeah. Obviously, we don't got it set up down here or anything. But another little pickup DC made recently, Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles. Would not have associated umbrellas with zombies. That's the company that did all the stuff. That That's why they're, you got the weird, goofy Resident Evil zombies and stuff. Very bad company and stuff. Anyways, anyways, anyways. We only picked this up because this is another one of the pew, 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 pew rail style shooters. Yes. For the Wii. Definitely going to have to check that out. We might have to get Mower of Lawn into position so that we can try that on a show pretty soon. It's getting closer to winter time. We're gonna have to see about if we're gonna. Make, I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna have to set it up downstairs somewhere. <laughs> Mower of Lawn's gonna have to go. <laughs> uh, I was actually contemplating because oh, I did see an Area 51 arcade machine for sale. Uh oh. Where I've talked before, where I'm like, hey, you know, I can get the. Uh, chipset and make that into an Area 51 maximum force combo board. Shove it into the Area 51 Site 4 cabinet that we have over there. Hook it onto a switcher so you can have both. Ooh. So you have all three uh, Area 51 style games on there. Take the then empty cabinet, throw a regular TV type thing in there, hook up the Wii sensor bar, and make myself a Wii railgun shooter cabinet. Yes, and you can fill it with all of these that you've been picking up lately. The chicken mm. one. Oh, my God. That thing was so cool, though. <laughs> the chicken elite thing or whatever that it was. That is addictive. Oh, my it's goodness. Addictive. It's, I, I, it's like, uh, what, what just happened here? Uh, all of a sudden, it's like, I'm still playing shooting chickens. True. Oh, that's good. Oh, they're nice shooting level. back. They're shooting eggs back at you. <laughs> they deserve it. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we did a couple of good pickups. I uh, won't bother showing you the TV. The Wii, the <laughs> comics. Uh, had a couple of birthdays to celebrate there. You know what I don't like about that TV, though? When it's turned off, there's still a light on it. I don't like how they do that with a lot of the TVs now. Like Just like the one upstairs. I don't like that. You know, I don't. Put a piece of tape over it? The sensor's right by it's that. It's already got stuff going to it because of... Uh, she's still got chicken run for Wii. Ah, uh, the chicken run. I'm talking to shooters, though. Uh, the, you know, chicken run is not bad either, though. Well, chicken run, that was based off of that movie, if I remember yes, right. Yes, yes. You know, I didn't play much of it. Yeah, I don't think we have it. I'm just... Oh, it's. I think we actually do in that do box over there. Oh. I think. For sale. Oh, that reminds me. Grab the ultimate portable ah. blue box. Because since we're wrapping things up here. People. Share the page. I know Delani has been sharing the page, you know, because she likes free stuff. She's won before. And by she the way, she can testify that we do we really do give you free stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and free. and she also realizes that she is also eligible to win this because she Technically, was not our yes. last winner. She no. was not the last yes. winner. Yes. Oh boy. Technically, she is eligible. Oh again. boy. To be honest, this is going to sound bad, but I'm kind of hoping. This is at 150. At a hundred. At a hundred. We're only about five some odd away. Yes, we have follows. Page like follows. That's what I'm looking for. Correct. Once Correct. we get to a hundred, I don't care if it's a hundred follows or a hundred page likes. We have more follows than we do page likes, which makes me wonder whether you people who are following me, mm. why aren't you liking the page? Why? Yeah, don't you automatically do both? Yes, but you can set it to when just you, follow. You can set it. Oh. Yes. Which that's what I mean. That's weird. It because would be awesome to do this at Comic-Con. Hopefully we'll do it before Comic-Con. That's what I'm going to say. I want to do it before Comic-Con because at Comic-Con, we're going to be doing a couple other little promos that we're going to yes, that we're contemplating wanting on. To... Miss A wants to do a big giveaway. She wants to see about possibly giving away like a Nintendo Switch. Yes. For Comic Con. Totally free. Free to enter. And I'm just like, that's crazy, girl. That would be crazy. We're, we're still tossing that around. You're crazy, tossing, girl. Tossing, tossing. Because at 150, we're going to be doing a Super Nintendo Classic. Yes. Um, You know, with the 20, what is that, 20, 21 games on it? This one? Yeah. 
Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. This NES Classic. The, I'm yes, sorry, not I'm the Super like, Nintendo. This is okay. only thirty on it. We already did. We already gave away the Super <laughs> Nintendo one. Oh my God. <laughs> that was John D'Onofrio one though. Yeah. Oh my yes, goodness. This will be This is probably gonna be the one that's gonna be given away at Comic Con the way we're going. But. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully, I'm I'm hoping that you know it's like I would love to be able to sit there and uh you know give All away you multiple guys things have at Comic Con. Do... Just like the page. Yes. Like the page, follow the page. Delaney thinks that is super cool, and it is. All I have to do is like and follow the page, and you're entered for all of our giveaways. If you know anyone who loves to win free stuff, loves retro games, loves gaming of any kind, mm -hmm. we switch it up. We try to do different things just because we love gaming, and we want you to have some new games to play. So let them Word. know that we give away stuff so they can come yeah. and join in the fun. It's not always just retro. I mean, technically that's retro, but it is a brand new thing. Oh, yes, yes. We're not going to be yeah, giving yeah. you some, you know, I mean, we even Odyssey have a... 2 old piece of junk that's burned out. Whoa, whoa, there ain't yeah. nothing wrong with the Odyssey they 2. Tell. Ain't nothing wrong it's with the Odyssey well. 2. A little Anybody KC want to Munchkin. win on Odyssey 2? No. A little KC Munchkin action going on. Ah. Get that in there. Get that Munchkin oh. going. We also have, grab me that Capcom Classics Volume 2. Oh. Actually, grab both of them. Why not? What do we have here? PlayStation 2, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. Yes. That's a recent pickup. And, oh, what's this? I don't know. Sealed. Capcom Classic Collection, Volume 2, sealed. Who wants to open this up and, and oh. let me film it? Oh. I've actually been thinking of opening it up myself because I want to play it. Nice. Oh, there's 20 Capcom Classics on it. 1941. Okay, come, come, come back to Earth or BC. The Avengers. Black I'm have to Tiger. Take this away from you. Captain Commando's on here. For the Super Nintendo, that's a hundred dollar game. You could have it on this a lot cheaper. Yes. Echo a Fighters. Lot, a lot oh cheaper my goodness. as is right now, but even cheaper than cheap. Yeah, yeah. If you'll open it on camera. Yeah, even better. Knights of the Round, The King of the Dragons, both of those are about seventy dollar games. Knights of the Round. For the Super Didn't Nintendo. You have one? Yeah, I sold it. That last year? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, let's see, last duel, Megaton. Oh my goodness, Magic Sword. I love Magic Sword. That's a good one. Uh, he's going back in time. Um, ooh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Not, not bad, not bad, not bad. Get that away from me. All of this I'm going to open it up right now if it's going near me. to be at Comic-Con Erie coming this September. Next month, we're under one month until Comic-Con. It's going to be down at the Bayfront this year again. We hope that you will join us down there. We will have comics. We wish we you could have... join us, Delania. We know you're too far away to come. Oh, yes. Just tell us what you want to buy, and we'll, we'll sell uh, it. Yeah, you know. We'll sell it to you. Yeah. Let we... us know if you're going to Comic-Con. Let us know if you're dressing up. Oh, my Let goodness. What, what are you going to be at? For. Yes, we want to hear what you're going to be uh, cosplaying and, as so we and, can identify you when you're And you, um, BC won't by. tell you. Booth 2 on BC is not going to tell you, but we actually also do discounts for certain activities that occur in front of our booth. Oh, yes. But we don't tell you what. Oh, yes. An individual last year. Not osculating in public. Sorry, he got, um, I, I flat out told him, whatever you pick up, you know, I'll, I'll knock uh, 10 bucks off. Yes. So pick up some pricier stuff, you know. It's like, Absolutely. He ended up picking up like uh, $50 worth of stuff. And because he picked up so much, I think I actually made it 15 off for him. Nice. I don't nice. remember, though. We can't wait to see everybody at Comic-Con. Definitely let us know if you're going. If And if you have never gone, mm -hmm. don't feel that you have to go in cosplay. No. There will be... Um, you can just dress up in red, a baby shirt and go. You can um, hey, come baby. visit me. The Red Ranger will be there. There's all kinds of artists there that are making all kinds of things, not necessarily comic-related. I almost did the Green There's Ranger food. call. Aww. There's all kinds of stuff. And if you're just into comics reading and you're not... We got comics. We have comics at the Yin Yang. We'll we have will stuff. have... One day or the whole weekend. It's definitely worth your while. So swing on down and check it out. It is a full, that full main room. They pack it cheek and jowl. So yes. You don't want to miss there it. There will be, at least from BC, just himself, I'm bringing at least 600 comics. I know there will also be a couple other comic book vendors there, which reminds me, BC is going to have to check out a couple because I was taking a look at the, and I, I believe the one has one I want. Oh, absolutely.
absolutely. I'm gonna have to send them a message. Hey, like, hey dude, you're gonna be at Comic Con. I'm gonna be at Comic Con. Bring it. Let's make a deal. Bring it. Oh, I wanna, yeah. I'll buy it. If, issue if, if, 75? Hmm? 75, 73. Issue number one. Oh, okay. Conan Saga. Oh. Wait, Conan Saga. Savage Sword of Conan. <gasps> Conan Saga was the reprint. Really? Ooh. He has it for a decent price, too, because it's not a mint, mint condition one. Well, neither are any of the ones that we have, so. That's not true. <laughs> I have some mint ones, but BC I wants love... to read it. I love Savage Sword. Love DC it. wants to read it. Yes. Oh, I'm sure you can make him a deal. You got to get on the horn. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll do it later. All right. Special thanks to longtime supporters, of course. John D'Onofrio from the Mad Vikings Beard and Mustache Club and Delon swinging in and saying hello hey, from hey. down south. Uh, we also did not down hear from south by Texas. But I do want to say hello to Scaldron's Realms. And if you have not checked them out, if you're a wrestling fan, do check out oh. Scaldron's Realms and the H2 and? Our and chat room. If you're into where streaming, you keep up on all of that. If you're into game streaming, check him out. Scaldron's Realms. Scaldron's Realms on Twitch. He does game play, game reviews. Um, I believe very he good. did uh, some retro gaming just the other yes, day. Yes, yes, he was on Sega, and I recognize the picture, but I can't tell you the name. But uh, I was mm. there for it all day. I was sorry that I missed that. I'm still. I gotta sit down and. I gotta, I gotta get on the 5G to watch Twitch. <laughs> Almost there. But we're, we're, yes, we're definitely check him it, out. You know, it's like, like what we got Another set up awesome right YouTuber now. Another from here mm. in Erie. So we got some about, stuff, yeah. Uh, that's about the show. Uh, yeah, we, we gotta end again. the show. We gotta end it. We gotta end now. Uh, we've been doing this for a while. She does wish that she could come. We wish you could come too. I wish I could go, go to some of the ones that are down in your neck of the woods. Because, oh my gosh, oh, yes. Because uh, I know there was a few down in that area from people I used to watch on uh, YouTube uh, quite frequently. We will try to do a live. We'll, I we'll, think we we'll can try pull to it do a Facebook live. Yeah. And then you can check in somehow, some way, and at least see the setup and where we're at. So. Yeah, we'll do something like that. We'll, we'll do that for you. It'll be fun. Uh, so thank you, BC. Um, hopefully everybody got to enjoy this uh, new mm. setup and the new way the camera looks. Me to set this down here because <laughs> now I got to go walk across over here to figure out how to turn this video. How do we stop this monstrosity <laughs> now? Oh. We don't know what's happening, people. No, I can't. Uh, oh no, yeah, I can't. Check you later, BC. Except it's gonna. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, Miss A's gonna try to get this going. The... What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not it's because it's, it's we right. finally got the new computer and it's trying to get us to. Hey, won't you buy this? <sighs> okay, I think I'm over here. Okay, I think you got that. See you later, BC. Bye, bye, Miss A. Bye. Okay, we think we got this. It's looking good. I think we're closing. Uh. Okay. Yeah.